We are currently building terrace wood. It was a housing project with promise, a subdivision of unique homes in Meaford, Ontario, built by Third Line Homes and endorsed by famous Canadian contractor Mike Holmes. Holmes is also a TV host known for exposing botched construction jobs. Third Line Homes approved homes are built with innovation, integrity and a commitment to make it right. In 2016, Andrea Hart and Miles Johnson bought in to the Terrace Wood project. We trusted the name, you know, of Mike Holmes approved home. Yeah, where could you go wrong? Well, it went wrong. The couple claims after their house was finished in 2018, they discovered it was riddled with defects. This has all been replaced. They put including a deficient heating in system. The the couple says they had to move out in January to make way for major fixes, including structural repairs to each side of the house. It's been a nightmare. We haven't had a retirement. It's just dealing with things. Dealing well, after we moved in, now we found, okay, there's this issue. Okay, another issue. And you just sort of say, what in hell happened? An $8 million lawsuit filed in Ontario Superior Court alleges numerous defects in 14 terrace wood homes, including major structural problems, raising serious safety concerns. The house is under a lot of construction. There's nobody here. The suit was filed by Tarion, a consumer protection organization which administers Ontario's warranty program for new homes. It claims Third Line Homes failed to fix the defects, so Tarion is paying for the repairs. It's seeking damages to recoup its costs. Healthy, comfortable homes are at the root of our philosophy. The suit targets more than a dozen parties involved in the Terrace Wood project, including Mike Holmes' company, The Homes Group. The houses were advertised as Mike Holmes approved, but the company says it never inspected them as inspections were offered as an upgrade, which no homeowner bought. And in its statement of defense, the Holmes Group claims it had no involvement whatsoever with the Terrace Wood project. But Holmes, the celebrity, did help promote Terrace Wood. The winner of the bobblehead campaign. Including taking part in a Find the Mike Holmes bobblehead contest. Holmes also said in advertising that he personally bought one of the houses, which he gave a thumbs up. He came up for a photo op and put his thumbs up on his house there, and then that was sold. According to land registry records, a numbered corporation connected to Holmes sold the house in 2017. It was listed as a Holmes approved home. That house also allegedly needed repairs, according to the lawsuit. The new owners declined to comment. The Holmes Group's lawyers also declined to comment while the case is before the courts. The beam that came across the top was not right. Jackie Sheron says her Terrace Wood house underwent structural repairs in June. She says Holmes' endorsement was a big selling point, but points the finger at Mary Jo and Paul Osborne with Third Line Homes. Both are defendants in the suit. I have no idea, you know, who is really responsible. But to me, that's who I bought the home from. And that's who I trusted to build me a, you know, a good home. Tarion alleges the Osbournes failed to take reasonable care constructing the homes and didn't address warranty claims. In their statement of defense, the Osbournes say they built quality houses and blame Tarion, claiming it excluded them when dealing with homeowners' complaints about defects and spread misinformation about their company, which led to its financial demise. I don't feel comfortable in the house. <sighs> As the court battle continues, Hart and Johnson wait for word when they can move back into their home. Hart says she's now not even sure if she wants to return. So, Sophia, you went to Terrace Wood. Yeah. What was that experience like? Well, at first glance, it just looks like a nice subdivision of new homes. But uh, on a closer look, when I took a closer look, I saw several homes that were under construction. And keep in mind, these are houses that were supposed to be finished some time ago. I also knocked on the door of every house um, listed in the lawsuit. Unfortunately, most homeowners, uh, they didn't want to talk, at least publicly. Um, but I did really get the sense from the people I spoke with that there's a lot of frustration in this neighborhood over a housing project that for one reason or another uh, just didn't go as planned.
All right, Sophia Harris, thank you. Thank you.